What's good, Lockies and Lockettes? This your boy Christopher Wright, and I'm back here again with another video. And guys, in this video, I will be explaining tips on how to grow your locks faster. So guys, I want you to stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video and take heed of the value. And guys, and I hope y'all enjoy it. So guys, let's get, let's dive right into the video. So the tips on how to grow your locks faster. Now these are no particular order. I just do feel like all this, you know, really needed an order. But these were just things that you want to, to examine, to look, look into to see how to grow your hair faster and see if you haven't already tried these things and see if they haven't already worked for you. But I just want to lay everything out for you guys to give you the best chance to grow your locks a lot faster. Guys, okay. So the first one for sure uh, is sea salt. Sea salt helps the hair lock quicker. Now, me personally, have I done it? No, but I witnessed people who've done it, and then I've also seen other YouTubers who've done it too. Um, and sea salt seems to, to, to work very efficiently, but it also leaves your hair dried out. So you have to play that in fact that your hair can also dry out depending on your texture and how well you keep your hair. But that would frequently, and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think you wanna do it kind of frequently in order to make sure that your hair is locking quicker. But uh, in order to grow quicker, in order to see the lock quicker, you wanna have that sea salt help to lock the hair. Now, like I said, this is no particular order. So don't shun me for it. But these are tips also to help your lock succeed. Um, and a lot of people, they might not see the growth because their hair is not locking yet. And they see more, you know, they don't, it, it depends on their hair and it depends on how often they're getting their hair retwist to the point that they're seeing new growth. And a lot of people feel like the lock is growing when they start seeing their hair lock up. So, sea salt is a key component. So try that out, guys, and see if that works for you. So next, guys, you want to do scalp massages. Scalp massages are huge, huge. You want to do scalp massages, hand scalp massages, you know, automated scalp massages, tools, everything to do scalp massage, or get somebody else to do the scalp massage for you. The scalp massage helps get the blood flowing through the scalp. Helps open up the air follicle. I mean, help open up the follicles, allow the head to breathe, release some of the tension, the toxins, allow more air to flow through. So you need scalp massage. At first, I didn't know that was a key point in allowing your hair to grow. I didn't know it, it you know, it was to maximize your growth. But all I knew, it just felt good. It felt good and I like getting them. But I didn't get them that often, but now I get them more frequently and I do them every day. In another video, I will go through the different scalp massagers that you can use and that work for me in order to give you the best chance to grow your hair a lot faster. Guys, this is a huge one. And please take this with a grain of salt. Some of y'all don't like it, some of y'all hate it. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, I like it. Water. Drinking water. Drinking water is huge. I drink so much water, it's ridiculous. Water is, ne is a, a necessity. You need it. It helps cleanse. It helps uh, hydrate. You know, and you need that circulating through your blood, through, you, through your skin, through your organs. You need water like we're made up a great deal of water and minerals and things like that guys you need water water is essential it is very key to growing your hair a lot faster if you don't water that plant it would never grow guys you soda you can't depend on soda you can't depend on on different sugar contented juices and, and liquids and stuff like that so water is huge h2o is necessity for your hair growth, it is a necessity for your hair growth. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water throughout the day. 
even if you can't get eight ounces or a gallon or whatever, just a little water or something. Not on top of there. We're not talking about topical. You know, we know what that does topical as far as drying out and all that stuff. It treats just like your skin. If you know if you don't wash and you got out the tub and you're dried up, your skin dried up, it does the same thing to your hair, guys. So you have to have it internally. So drink a lot of water if you want a lot of things to open up, to cleanse, to breathe, to flow. You know what I'm talking about. Let's do it. I talked about this in my previous videos about the multivitamin. Multivitamin, whole food multivitamin, hair, uh, skin and nail vitamin, uh, all those things are huge. And multivitamins, that, like I said, they help on a lot of factors. If you're not getting a lot of nutrition in your foods and things like that, you have to supplement it. You have to supplement it. If you're not eating enough vegetables and you're just you know, eating a whole bunch of junk, you gotta supplement that stuff with a multivitamin, a hair, skin, and nail vitamin, or a prenatal vitamin, whichever, to help your hair grow. And guys, uh, the formulation I like, and like I explained to my last video, Dr. Berg's uh, hair formula res restoration, that, that, multi, that multivitamin or hair, skin, and nail vitamin has stinging nettle in it. Stinging nettle is very a key component. And after reading what stinging nettle does, uh, it helps the burnout of D DHT. Um, and it helps restore that and minimize that DHT. And so that guy, so your hair has a better fighting chance to fight traction alopecia and all those different cases like that. So guys, you want to make sure that you're getting the supplementation of multivitamins hair, skin, and nail vitamins, or prenatal vitamins, whichever you prefer. But make sure you're getting that supplemental nutrients nutrients you need in order to provide that for your hair, guys, in order to grow. Speaking on the fact of nutrition, you want to make sure that you're eating high nutritional foods, vegetables, and fruits. You want to make sure you're eating those things. I know we shouldn't even have to repeat that, but guys, those are huge. Make sure you're eating those things because that helps. Like I said, a lot of people think it's just topical that helps your hair grow a lot faster, but it's also the internal. You got to make sure that you're feeding your body with the right stuff in order for that to grow. A lot of, you wonder why a lot of vegans or vegetarians or pescatarians or, or keto dieters a lot of people who get all the nutrients they can in their diets, you know, and wonder why they see their hair flourish and grow because they're getting the amount of nutrition they need on a daily basis. Of course, we're not going to get every real absolute thing, but that's what it goes back to the next point. Making sure that you supplement those things, but get the fruits and vegetables in. That is a must, guys. You want to make sure you're also implementing in light oils. If anything, essential oils, light oils for the hair, jojoba oil, avocado oil, olive oil, vitamin E, uh, those various different oils, you know, that, that are very light because you don't want things to wear your hair down. If you're allergic to Jamaican black castor oil or castor oil or other different oils that are thick or, or coconut oil, you know, because even though you you heat it up and it's, it's light then, but it also gets thick. That can clog up. You don't want anything clogging up the, the follicles. You don't want anything clogging up the, the, the breathing of the scalp because you want the best chance to grow your hair a lot faster. In order to grow your locks faster, you can't have that stuff caked up, build up, blocking air passage. Because what's the point of massaging your scalp, opening up those, you know, opening up those, those pores if you're going to allow heavy products, heavy oils and things like that to 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 uh, clog that up. You don't need that stuff. So make sure everything is very light and you're using minimum products, minimum essential oils in order to uh, give your chance to better, give your hair the better chance. And also to that point, guys, you want to make sure, um, like I said in the last video, protective styles can also help. Protective styles can also help your hair to grow faster. Um, braids, things like that. Like for me particularly, my hair grows a lot faster when I'm when I'm, when I'm doing protective styles like that. Like the locks, it's a protective style. 
braids. It's a protective style. Those things like that help your my hair grow because they're pulling and they're pulling. But right now, like I said, dealing with traction alopecia, I don't need that pulling. So I have to get my growth tips elsewhere. And so I have to try other things to keep afloat and go up. And I hope that is key to you guys too. And that's important in your journey that, that you don't do things that are damaging and extending the life of that, that condition or traction alopecia or whatever the case may be. But you're also reducing that and then giving your hair a better chance to grow a lot faster. And guys, another key component too, <laughs> must I say this? I think I have to rest guys rest sunlight the essential things that we miss out on that we don't even think about but sunlight sunlight helps rest helps you have to rest your body how your body going to recharge grow new cells it can't keep pumping when you keep going adding in different things and doing different things in your body that it has to keep paying attention to. So you gotta allow your you gotta allow your body to rest. We see a major change in things when we rest. We see the difference of our bodies, transformations after we done worked out for months on end when we rest. We see better energy. We see more life when we we took those those chances to get that rest time in. So get enough rest. And get enough sunlight, guys. It's the summertime. And it, right now is the perfect time to get that sunlight out. I understand virus. We're dealing with all that stuff. But keep your face covered. Don't allow your hair to breathe. I understand. Some people may feel like, oh, I don't want that. It's airborne. It might get in my hair. Well, I want you, if you're not going to get the sunlight, at least supplement in vitamin D3. You know, supplement that if you're not going to get the sunlight in. But those are two key components you want to also look into in order to grow your hair a lot faster. And guys, this is very huge and we cannot say this enough. Make sure you're keeping a clean scalp. Keep your hair clean. Dirty hair does not grow. Dirty hair does not have the potential to flourish. You have to have your hair clean. You feel so much better, so much lively when your hair is clean. Is clean. Make sure your hair is clean, guys. That's a huge component. You get all that dirt, grime, dust, pollution, all the stuff that we have, pollen or whatever, that we be out outside and interacting with, and coming encounter with. God, make sure your scalp is clean. Make sure your hair is clean. Make sure you're in the best state to grow your locks faster. And guys, like I said in the last video, you want to stop thinking about your hair so much on a daily basis. Stop thinking about it. Let it go. Get it out your mind. Stop thinking about your hair. When you look at it so much, you don't see the change. You, don't, you won't notice the change because you look at your hair so much. So guys, let that go like... <laughs> Stop looking at your hair so much and let your hair do its thing. Because when you stop focusing on that, you will understand like, bam, man, I, I didn't know I had this much length. I didn't know my hair was doing that. That's such. Guys, you got to stop thinking about it so much. Stop constantly looking at it, playing with it, having your hand in your hair. Allow it to be free. Allow it to do its thing. And that's a pet peeve for me because I love my hand and my hair. So I have to start taking those things in consideration as well. And I'm doing better by doing that and staying away from it, not thinking about it so much, you know? Because sometimes I might think, oh, did I make the right decision with going with these and uncombing out the others, you know, in order to go with these. So I just stopped thinking about it because I, could, I believe that my hair will flourish and it will blossom and get thick and grow fast the way that I want it. Now these two parts right here are huge. So you want to eliminate the anxiety and stress that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Eliminate the anxiety, the stress, the, over the overwhelmness. You want to, because cortisol, guys, these, these hormones are detrimental to your hair. These hormonal activities, these things that are mood changing or distressive to 
your hair. They are very detrimental and damaging to your hair. Because they send out all this cortisol and all these different hormones that that hinder your hair growth. Hinder your potential to grow your hair. So you have to release stress. Do things like meditations. Those are key. Meditations are key. Do things like affirmations. Man, I speak affirmations on my hair every day. About the thickness, about the growth. About the healthiness, about the maintenance, all that. I speak positive affirmations over myself to release the stress. And not even affirmations just about my hair, but just about my overall life and well-being. Affirmations are huge. Yoga. Try yoga. It releases a lot of the stuff. The tension, the tightening, the stress, the anxiety, the toxins. We want to release those toxins that come out of your body so that way you can have the best chance to breathe, to be at peace, happy, joyful not always thinking about this or thinking about problems and the issues of life, the virus guys, we want to eliminate that stuff, meditate do breathing treatments, do things like that, these are key components to help so implement those guys, if you want the best chance now if you want your hair to grow faster and flourish guys you need to leave your hair alone and stop trying every single thing stop trying every single thing you see somebody do you don't know what they're going through you don't know their conditions you don't know their hair types to what they do it might not be comparable to you because just because they tried it on youtube doesn't mean that it makes it right guys so stop trying every little single thing certain products are not meant for you they're not meant for your locks yes certain products that may be for a loose natural works for somebody else in their lock stage and for you they don't work they could be damaging destructive for your hair so you guys you want to minimize that stuff so stop trying every little thing the rice water that was weird to me why but i mean hey if it worked for other people cool to me it's weird weird i've never heard rice water being a positive for anybody here but like i said different textures for different people so it might do work i don't know but i'm not trying every little thing man i'm trying what i feel in my heart that's right and i feel that i know more information about and i trust it and i've tried it before and it's been effective and guys me i am very experienced right now this going on my third or fourth set of locks and my first set i have for five and a half years my second set i have for a year and a half and now i'm focusing on this third or fourth set whichever you want to call it because i had combed my hair out but i still have enough experience and knowledge to know certain things are not meant for your hair and i tried a lot of stuff so I, I I do minimal products. I do the lightest products. I don't do anything harmful and damaging because, like I said, I'm dealing with traction alpha alopecia. So that's an issue in itself. So why would I make that worse by adding all this extraness, all this other crap, man? I'm not trying everything just because they try it. You know, I'll go research it and see if it helps. But even then, I'm I'm not just diving in something because I'm I'm stuck to my regimen that I have. And I'm going to stick with it because I trust in it. And I trust and I'm and I see that I'm getting the best results out of it. So I'm not going around doing all this extra because it's pointless. And I've seen people, man, who don't even touch their hair, don't do anything about their hair. And guess what? Their hair grows phenomenally thick, long, and, it bl- and they're free for me. And, you know, whatever the case may be. But they're doing less stuff to their hair, man. And they're not trying all this craziness, but they get the best results. I should tell you something. Do less with your hair. Leave it alone. Allow it to flourish. Allow it to grow. Allow it to be great and be phenomenal. So guys, that will conclude our tips on how to grow your hair faster. So guys, I took. I hope you took great value out of this information, and I told. I hope it took you took heed out of it, and I hope it helps you. Uh, to further you along your journey 
And guys, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss out any videos I have coming for you. Make sure you like this video and leave a comment on any questions or concerns or any ideas of the next video you would like uh, for me to uh, provide for you guys. And guys, all my lackeys and lackettes, I will see you again. Salute. I love you.